Good day folks, Neil here from Southwest Adventures. Today I'm just going to introduce you guys to some of the tropical fruits that you're going to find in our tropical island of Trinidad. Some you may know by different names, but I must say we are blessed with tropical fruits in these parts. And um, thanks to our ancestors that may have brought them with them when they came back in their day. This fruit shown here is called sour cherry because it is very sour in taste. Some of us will eat it with a little salt and pepper. But the main use of it here really is um, it makes a very excellent jam and anchar. Right? It's quite common here throughout Trinidad and um, it is known for its sour teas. This fruit shown here is called tamarind, native to Africa and very common here around Trinidad. It has a very important use in the culinary area. So they use it as flavorings for chutneys, curries, traditional, traditional syrups. Tamarind sweet chutney is popular in India, Pakistan and uh, here in Trinidad. When we have our doubles and they hit your little tamarind sauce, trust me, this is a game changer. And it is also famous for our local tamarind ball. Alright, so if you ever had a tamarind ball, like, let me know in the comments below, man. It, it makes a very nice drink as well. You guys know this fruit? This is called lele. Lele, lele. Caleb, eat it and tell me how it is. It's oh, sweet. Mmm, look at the bunches of lele. Mm -hmm. Lele, lele, and more lele. Look at them. Mmm, lovely bunches. Look at them. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. 
Okay, let's take a have some here, man. We're gonna do that. It's <laughs> really nice. You like it? Yeah. Wow, look at them. They're in full bloom here, man. All of them up there. All of them up there. All of them. Now aside from this fruit being called lily, it is also known as moral white manjak or mucilage manjak and it's kind of found throughout the Caribbean islands from Cuba to Trinidad. Now I don't know if you all your folks could recall but um, I have good fun memories of using this to stick my kite. Right? Um, some have been have stories where they used to stick their copy book at school back in the days. Um, actually, some of the use of it is actually they use it for glue to make glue. All right. Um, they said the wood is used to make barrels and boxes, and um, for fuel like a charcoal, charcoal and so on. And um, yes. We have had it to eat on numerous occasions. So they also say that it has some medicinal value, we don't know. Now this fruit is known as Acerola cherry, Guarani cherry, Barbados cherry, West Indian cherry, and wild crepe myr myrtle. Right? So it's quite common here in Trinidad. Um the I could say something that it has a very high vitamin C content, right? And um, it's very tasty, have a, light, a little slight tart. And um, you know, once you get a couple of these in, trust me, you would have enough vitamin C, right? They used to make jams and jellies and in some of the culinary um, stuff here, it can be eaten raw. And the birds love it as well. The birds love it as well. Alright, so if you ever had these, they are very tasty, they are seasonal, and they pack a whole lot of vitamin C right they say they are high in vitamin C and also used as a food supplement Pumarak, 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 pumarak. Ooh, look at this pumarak flowers. Wow. Pumarak in season, the pumarak in season. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Pumarak in season. Pumarak in season. Look at this white succulent flesh, boy. Mmm. Mmm. I love pumrak just like that and I love it in show. Well, let me know in the comment below what kind of show I like. Pumrak, pineapple, mango, all kind of show. Picking some cutlass mango now, what's that? Is? Uncle Richard, show you one of them cutlass mango there. Alright, one. Mmm. Look at that, people. Look at that. Mmm. Ooh, look at the tree up there, 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 watch this. Cutlass mango, there's some green ones hanging down here, watch. Fruits man, fruits, tropical fruits man, look at them. Nice bunch here man. Nice bunch of cutlass mango. Cutlass mango all on the ground. Mm. Mango. Mango, 
Mango be, mango tea, mango be, mango tea. I want a penny to buy mango ve mango tea. Give me a penny to buy mango ve mango tea. Mango just the matter. So mango in season people. We turn over the pot. Mango in season. Look at the flowers here, watch. Could be them up there. Oh, my rock, man. Watch out them. Watch out them on the branches. Look at them on the branches. And guess what? The boy is southwest on top of the tree. You know, a little preview, boy. I know some of them are jubilant, you know. Say, wait, hey, look at the rock. Tree take good load, eh? Have all on the branches, here. Yeah. All up there, Pumarak. Pumarak, Pumarak, Pumarak. All up on the branch of them, look at them. Watch at them, watch at them. Look at the pomerac on the branch. Real pomerac, man. Healthy pomerac. Fresh fruits, man. Fresh fruits. They can't go wrong in the country, guys. Now this fruit show here resembles very much our local pomerac but the correct name is wax apple also known as java apple, semarang rose apple or wax jambu alright well one of the favorite uses for it here is that we make our favorite local chow right where we infuse a little bit of shadow benny and garlic and all that and very tasty all right. Now Java apple also makes an excellent chow. So right here in Trinidad, you know chow is a big thing. So for the first time, I'm going to try this Java apple chow. Look at that. So all the seasoning and everything that is kind of soaked in there, the green seasoning and the pepper and salt and shadow benny. Garlic. Mmm. It, it, it's not sour, it has a nice, um, a nice tongue, really nice. Mmm. Java apple chow.